This is a lesson on equivalent decimals. And trust me, they sound a lot more complex than they are. It's actually really simple. Um, so here in the gray, it says equivalent decimals are decimals with more or less zeros to the right of all of the non-zero numbers. These decimals have exactly the same value with or without the zeros. So here are some examples. We've got uh, six tenths here. We would say, remember how to say that. Uh, so it's a zero, a decimal, and a six. That is the exact same thing. It looks a little different, but it's the exact same value as zero decimal six zero. It's still six tenths. Wow, hey, amazing. Now, over here, same thing goes. I don't think yours get this complex, but we've got zero, a decimal, a zero, and a four. Okay, so this is four hundredths. And this is equal to 0 decimal 0, 4. See how they're the same? And then there's a 0 at the end. So there's the same value. It's just there still is that 0 here. We just, you don't need to put it because it's just implied if it's not there. Okay? So that's basically what it is. Adding and taking zeros off to the right of the number. But the only thing that you're going to have to watch is um, over here. So these are not the same. So this is a zero, a decimal, a one, and a zero. And over here we've got a zero, a decimal, a zero, and a one. So this one right here, this first one, is uh, one-tenth, and this one over here is one one-hundredth. So that is not the same value. That's a very, very different value. Okay, um, so those are not the same. You can't put the zero anywhere you want. You have to put it at the very end. And you could put as many as you want, technically. It would still be equivalent decimals. But we're just going to be focusing on putting one on or taking one off or seeing, uh, comparing things like this and seeing if they're equivalent. Um, so over here it says one row of this grid is one-tenth of the grid. So here's our grid, one row like this. I guess this is more of a column. Uh, but one column of this grid is one-tenth of the grid because there are ten, 10 columns, right? So one of them is one out of ten, one-tenth. So each small square is one-hundredth of the grid. So one little square right there, that would be one one-hundredth. Okay, so this would be 0 0.01 if you were writing it down, one one-hundredth. Now we have uh, four columns colored. That means four times ten, because we know it's ten down, uh, is 40. So we could either write this as 0 decimal 4, or you could write it as 0 decimal 4, 0. Okay, so this one's probably the easier one for you to think about because it's 40. So you think 40 squares, so go 0 decimal 40, right? For, you don't say decimal 40, you would say uh, 4, 0 if you're going to do it like that. Um, but the same thing, they're both four tenths. You could say 40 hundredths or four tenths, but it's the same thing. It both means this. It's kind of like equivalent fractions, except this is actually quite a bit easier than that. You don't have to do a whole lot of math. You just have to add it or subtract a zero and understand that it's the same thing. Okay? Um, so that means that 0 decimal 4 is the same thing as 0 decimal 4 zero, or if I was saying it properly, uh, 4 tenths is the same as 4 tenths, you could say, or 4 tenths is the same as 40 one hundredths. It's the same thing, it means this exact picture right here. Okay, and so decimals that name the same amount are called equivalent decimals, just like fractions that name the same amount are called equivalent fractions. I know it's a big word and it seems scary, but this isn't scary, is it? Um, we've got a practice here now. So um, you're going to try these two on your own. So first of all, you're going to color a hundredths grid to show each decimal, and then you're going to write an equivalent fraction. So you need to color this to show this, and you're going to color this to show this. So this is six tenths or three tenths, color it, and then write an equivalent fraction. You could do the opposite though, you could write an equivalent fraction and then color it up to you. But either way, pause the video right now and play again once you're finished.
All right. So I'm going to go in the order that it suggests and color first. So first of all, it says that I need to color um, six tenths of this. So I can imagine each of uh, my columns in rows as uh, just one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, because I'm looking at tenths right now. And I would color, so I've got uh, I'm going to do rows, actually, because that's what um, I made the computer do. Okay, so I'm going to color these in. And now I have shown six tenths, but I can also show uh, 61 hundredths. And I will show you what that looks like. You probably already figured it out. All you need to do is add a a zero to the end. Now you have to write it again though. Don't just put a zero beside the six and call it a day. Write those three digits out and the decimal. Okay, you can put an equal sign in there to show that it's the same. Now, same thing on the other side. Um, if I'm to color in three tenths, I can imagine each column as one. So I would color in um, one here. And another one, because that would be two columns. And then I will color in three columns. And then I will write an equivalent decimal for that. And that will, again, just be writing the number again, but with a decimal at the end, if I can get... There we go. Make it a little bit thicker. That's not a very good zero, but either way, there we go. 30 squares are colored, and uh, I've got a number 30 here, technically. All right, so that's, that's the basics of the lesson. There's not much more to it, but if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, your assignment is on page 204, and it's numbers 1 to 6.